Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Fancy Skulls. And I'm already a little bit in, but I realized that the uh, game audio is off. Whoops. Anyway, grab a coin right off the bat, and there's nothing back here. I like how everything explodes into bits. Anyway, let's see what we got. We've got one of the uh, cold snap things, and looks like one of the shooty faces. I'll just headshot it from here, because that's way easier than actually firing things. I'm spoiled from last episode when I didn't have to reload at all. Oh, looks like we got another one of these guys. It's just kind of juke around their shit and see what we get. I we, I'd take falling damage. I hope not. That'd be really unfortunate if you did in this game. Mainly because I am very accident prone and maybe a wee bit, uh, I don't know, reckless. I think that's a good one. Anyway, looks like we've got an extra heart container lying around, which we might need, we might not need. Let's see. That's the kind that shoots the homing shit, which I do not appreciate. Looks like we've got a lot of hearts lying around. Too bad we can't go... Ow. Well... Never mind, we don't have the extra hearts, after all. Doesn't matter that much. Okay, so we've got one of the random laser things. I'm going to wait until it goes by, and then get in and wreck its nonsense. There we go, and do we get a coin? Nope. We get a chesty thing, though. That's got a coin in it, and let's grab the heart, considering. Now, let's see. One. Probably should have reloaded first. Come to think of it. At least we got that thing dead, and then this one's not going to bother me, and then all we have to deal with is the face. Apparently we took a heart damage from that. Didn't actually think he was going to attack. We just have to hit this one twice. There we go. I like this game. How the nuts are you even supposed to jump over that? I guess maybe if I jump here? Jumping is a little floaty, so I might actually be able to do it. Not like they, there's... Much of a reward for doing so. Hello. What can I buy? Health. Mm, don't need. And I guess there might also be something in there. Maybe. Okay, that icon, if it's a white open icon, that means that there's that it's a shop. It's a shop that only gives health items. So let's go back, grab the heart that we've got lying around. Oh, and we forgot the item room. Better go in there. Oh, nope. There's nothing in there. And I still have no idea what the random chime is for. Either we'll figure that out someday, or never figure it out at all, because, yeah, either way. What do we got in the item room? And apparently we're not actually done after the item room. Greedy eye. Right click to use. Well, I think I will. In this room. Why not? We're here. Managed to crit that one. We've got a ghost coming after us. Got to worry about the laser thing. Managed to not get hit by it, somehow, mystically can't complain. Maybe if you hit in the eyeball, those things instant die. Because it seems like most enemies have some kind of weak point system. Not entirely sure. Anyway, greedy eye. Take sharp eye. Hmm. Actually, I have no idea what either do. But, you know, that's it. So, let's head for the teleporter and get out of here. I like how fast this game is. It's Maybe it's a little bit simpler because they're, you know, each room has a specific, specific number of enemies. It's much smaller than Tower of Guns, and they go by a lot faster, too. But I guess you're supposed to do way more floors of this than Tower of Guns. Anyway, I do kind of wish the minimap was, you know, toggleable to... Hmm. Okay, so we've got a ghost. Ah! Don't know why I was just sitting here, sitting there letting him shoot at me, but uh, I was, and that was a bad idea. Let's see. We've got a flamethrower thing. Okay, so, still took damage. I wonder if there's actually, like, a benefit to the little, like, you did this quickly. Probably not. Okay, I think I saw a laser thing, so I'm just gonna bro up back here and see if I can get a good vantage. Took him out in one hit, which is great. Ah, there's another ghost. Keep your eye out for the ghost. The ghost will snipe you from weird angles and distances. Something, oh, that might have been, like, the bullet casings. Come think of it. There we go. And now we just have to worry about the ghost. Eventually. There we go. He's dead. Accurate. At the very least, we can shop for health. Eh. I mean, we're not hurting too bad. So I, can, I think I'll come back. I'm not actually sure what the shop in the first room does. Maybe that was also health, but we only have five coins. If we could get up to eight, then I know we can buy at least something nice. What's this one? Not oh, one of those homing guys again. I feel like we were just in this room, like, ten minutes ago. Or less. Anyway, we've got another ghost. 
There we go. And what's left? Laser? Yeah, laser. Hey, we're in this exact room configuration. Except for that guy. He's different. Dodges shots. Apparently I'm not hitting him. Or maybe uh, he's just tail and hardy. Seems like the enemies have random health amounts that I do not know about. Alright, reload before going in here. Let's grab this. It's a coin. Hoping for you know, some kind of item. But uh, looks like they're coming after me now. At least the uh, chaser enemies do not have a whole lot of health. Kind of glad about that one. Nope. The orbs are, have discovered my presence. And the ghost is not dead. I was hoping he would be dead. Now he's dead. Oh, right. It's a right click to use. At least I can bait those. Interesting. Not sure what that does. Sharp eye. Maybe it's like crit mode. Okay, now we've taken some heart, hearts of damage and we have a key. So we can go... Whoa! Almost got taken out immediately. Gambling. Nope. Yeah, there we go. There's a heart. I'm not keen on gambling, though. Let's see what we got in the item room. The answer is... It's a card. Marked card. Always get a reward. Hmm, interesting. Cool. Like that. Looks like we've got a couple of eggs here and there. Worry about the face, really. Probably should have reloaded before going into this room. And looks like we've got maybe some kind of homing crap coming after us. Yep, we do. Back behind us. Take them out before they take us out. Because that would be unfortunate. Let's see if I can hit him from there and him from there. The fade is definitely interesting. Okay, so we're injured yet again. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a heart from the end of this room. Kind of hard to tell, but like. Is that it for this room? I think so. Nope. Oh, right. There's one of these guys over here. Okay, so I'll just strafe around. What happens if you hit the orb? Apparently, the orb is a weak spot for that guy. Okay, so item room, another coin. Time to go shopping. Could go up to full health. Could gamble. I'll go see what's in that last shop. And if there's nothing in that one that I really need, then I'm just going to go for it. And if I die, I die because it's uh I don't know, it's a roguelike. Death is death is guaranteed, pretty much. And right, what do we got? Revolver. Reloading one by one. Uh last two bullets cylinder, deal double damage, crack egg, start spawn. Hmm. Kinda like this one. Tempting. And then let's go gamble once, because, I don't know, was, it's tempting. Sure, we're going to be running around at one heart, but, uh, last, last two, uh, shots. Oh, and then you can gamble using your health. That's scary. Well, luckily we do not have to deal with that. Now, we do have a key. I'm not entirely sure what all the keys do, but, uh, maybe, maybe we'll find something in the next room that requires a key that gives us a nice item that saves this run. Like, every time you shoot something, you get a heart. That would be ridiculous. Unlikely, too. Let's go down to two bullets and see how effective this is at taking everything out. Looks like it's fairly enemy-dense, too. Let's take him out, and then, I guess, him out. Ooh. Okay, so we've got, like, two of these guys. There we go. What's left? There's somebody over here. Yep, there he is. And there we go. We get a coin. Not a heart. Hoping for a heart. That said, let's see what the shop has. It's probably just hearts. No! Reset. Crack egg. Ju chance to set on fire. Hmm. Jump to add a single bullet to the chamber. Interesting. Uh, we're still really low on health, so... Let's just be pseudo-cautious about this. Take out him. Take out the lasers. I think the ding noise is whenever you crit. Presumably. Because I don't think... Well, I, I've definitely shot things and it hasn't died. But it still made the dingy noise. I think, yep, this is a good one. And we get another coin. Very much like to get a heart from one of these. Otherwise, uh, well, we're, we're going to die in one hit. That's one nice thing about this game. You know when you're going to die. Unlike usual. So I think... Sharp Eye. There we go. He's dead. He's dead. 
So I guess all we have left is that guy. There we go. And another key. Not what I was expecting. I was hoping for a heart. No hearts. Choo choo. Okay. As usual, always have to jump cut when the train goes by because chew motherfucking chew. I mean, realistically, I don't have to, but... Oh, nuts, it's one of these guys up here. I'm gonna have to be a little careful because I think there's one of the chaser faces somewhere around here. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, I'm gonna use the angling of the level to my advantage here and make sure... Looks like he's coming after... Ah, shit, there we go. Well, that was... I mean, fancy skulls for you. So, a uh, decent run. Didn't get as far as the previous one, but go figure. Kind of did uh, burn him and lose him. Probably should have saved my money, bought all of the hearts instead, and we could have made it way farther. But, you know, it's always fun to experiment with new things. So, I'll see you guys on the next run of Fancy Skulls, and we'll see how far we get. So, see you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.